Okay, so I'm going to show you how I clean my personal makeup brushes. These aren't the ones that I use on my clients. They're my personal brushes that I use on myself, and I try to do this about once a week to keep them clean. And the two different options that I use to clean them are um, antibacterial dish soap and um, baby shampoo. And then I'm going to be using the new Sigma Spa Glove. And I have the old one, but I, I thought I would film this because they, this is the new one that they just came out with. So I'm just going to show you how I use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just wet the whole glove and today I'm going to be using baby shampoo. You can also use um, antibacterial dish soap which I think cleans them a little better but the baby shampoo just leaves them a little softer after. You can add um, olive oil to your dish soap to make them softer but today I'm just going to use um, baby shampoo. So I'm going to take the tiniest amount of baby shampoo and I'm going to put it directly onto the glove in the wash the middle in the wash section and then I'm going to take my brush and just wet it first and then I'm going to start swirling it around my brush in the wash section and what I like about this is the grooves are a lot deeper than the old one so it really gets in there and cleans the brush really good and at the very top of the glove that's the rinse part so I'm going to take my glove and just run it along there until I see that there's no more soap left on my brush and then the side of the brush, it says refine. Now, I really don't know what refine means, but I'm going to run my brush along there. And I noticed that it took a lot of the excess water off, but I'm assuming refine means to like make the bristles go all in the same direction. But I really don't know what it does, but I ran it along there also. And then also in the middle, there's another refine section. So I did that too. And my favorite part of this brush is between the thumb and the hand. You kind of put your brush through there and squeeze and it takes out the excess water and also leaves your brush in the, sh in the shape it's supposed to be in so you can just lay it flat to dry and it'll come out in the right shape. Then I'll just lay my brushes on a towel to dry and I usually leave them, I usually do this at night and leave them till the next morning. I'll just show you real quick again with an eye brush. It, what's cool about this is you turn the glove over and the whole other side is for your face brushes. It has a whole different pattern. I really like this brush because it really gives me a deep clean. My brush is a deep clean, but I don't really find that it saves a tremendous amount of time, but it does save time because like what I do is I'll wash a few brushes at a time and then I'll rinse them one by one, but I'll wash them all at the same time. So it really does save time. But also my favorite part is I used to wash them with my hand and my hand would be like raw by the time I was done with all my brushes. So that's probably one of my favorite things about this brush. But it is kind of big for your hand, but my hand's kind of tiny. So, so basically I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. I'm going to wet the glove and then just start washing my face brush. I'm going to use a foundation brush since it's really dirty and you can tell. And for these, I use a little bit more shampoo than normal because they are bigger brushes and I just want to make sure to get it extra clean. Like I said before, I've used baby shampoo and also antibacterial dish soap. Um, I haven't tried and I don't think I would recommend any liquid brush cleaner like like the MAC brush cleaner for instance because I'm not sure how good it'll work on this brush but I actually haven't tried it myself so I really don't know. I just don't think it would work good. Let me know if you guys have tried that. So overall I'm definitely loving this spa glove. I've been using it for a while and well the old one and this one is I think much better and I think it's just a great investment for somebody that has a lot of brushes because I don't know anybody out there that likes cleaning their brushes and like I said it does save, save time and it cleans the brushes really well so I definitely I'm definitely loving this I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching